Guys, good morning and welcome into the Trade Lab. It is a Thursday morning. It is the 13th day of May. My name is EP. Thank you for being with me today. Going to do a recording here out of the gate. We've got about two minutes until the uh, stock market opens up, and I've got the open positions up on the screen. You can see the open trade equity, and oh, yes. EP caught a big one. The Bitcoin that's happening over there on the far right side. That is a trade that is carrying over from yesterday. There is a look at what I caught when I went fishing for a short yesterday at 11.25 to be exact. We uh, sold off into the secondary bear zone. Man, did it go deep. It went all the way down into the third bear zone, uh, playing with, uh, well, you can see the price tag there, 47000 Wasn't that long ago that we were up above the 60. We're at 40, no, we're just under 50 as we speak. You can see just as of recent, it's turned uh, weak again. You can see the velocity lining up once again, red. It's inconsistent right now below. We're waiting for that to line up right across the board for all four time frames. In fact, it's going back yellow as we speak. But I do have my stop up above the bull level, and that is uh, some nice profit locked in if we do go back upstairs. So that's Bitcoin. We are in a mixed sentiment as we speak. You can see the DMS right now. Dynamic market sentiment that is telling me that we are mixed. That is the column third from the right down here in the market analyzer. Stocks are about to open up uh, seconds away. Uh, we are officially open. NASDAQ, that's a carryover trade that I've had since Monday. Open trade equity, uh, over $1,000. All the way back. So we got Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Go back one more, you'll see the entry. Way back over there on Monday morning. So here is a day trade that turned into a swing trade. Those of you guys who were here Monday morning, you remember taking some profits out of the NASDAQ from here to here, from here to here. And I let my last one micro, which you guys are looking at, it's about to get stopped out. Last one locked in about 850 bucks. that is just now getting stopped out. At least it looks like it is. On a micro. That's just a micro. Imagine that was a mini. Imagine if that was a full. So hell of a trade has come to an end. Got to start thinking about getting long because we actually just broke a RQ channel. There's a channel inside. They were breaking into the bull territory. Now we are not risk on. But I want you guys to look at the rotation. You see the sector theme rotation, the STR. It says rotation for the NASDAQ. So buying the NASDAQ doesn't make uh, a lot of bad sense. It makes a lot, a lot of good sense to be buying it right now. Now, the other ones, the Dow, they're still in the, it's still in the bear zone. S&P is just coming up to the bear level. Still have a trade there in the Dow that's carrying over from yesterday as well. Let me share that with you guys. Yep, right over there. That was yesterday's trade. You guys were here yesterday. I saw an opportunity to get short the Dow. Carried that one down to the bottom, and I still have this last one that I'm holding on to. You can see how I adjust my stop just a little bit lower above the bull. Still in the Dow with one unit. 248 open trade equity. And then the last one is this guy right here that's coming up to the bear and punching through it. Now we don't buy in the bear zone with the box trade strategy. We wait until we have a channel upstairs into the bull zone. We do not have that yet. See the background that is green. You can see the velocity down below. All four 
uh, time frames looking back at trends, one hour, three hours, eight hours, and the last day, they're all green. So you do have that in your favor. Could entertain getting long inside of the neutral, or better yet, I could do a reversal here if we go into the bear territory. What I'm looking for is risk on. Looking for the DMS to change to a risk on. And we very well could see that here in just a little bit. Keep your eyes on that DMS column. And if so, then I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and flip my uh, stop. I'll increase it so I can look for a reversal. Some static on the mics. Sorry about that. And then the last one to speak of uh, is that Bitcoin over there that still remains red. Actually, the uh, velocity is going away now. We're going from weakness to neutral on the navigation. So we'll have to wait and see how that uh, pans out. But we are very early. We're only a few minutes open into the session. And uh, we're going to be looking for some new trades here. Just wanted to take you guys through the mix and talk about trades carrying over and uh, holding on to some trades here. And the only way you catch uh, some big profits like this is allowing your trades to run. And probably the last thing I should probably bring to your guys' attention is a three-letter word, which is VIX, volatility. We are well above 22. I've been calling this, waiting for this to take place, and it's finally happened. We've broken uh, over the last 30 days the 22 mark. In fact, yesterday we went up above 27. And if you guys have been following me for, I don't know, the last year, uh, you've seen when I've made my most money. It's been when we've had high volatility. And I think back to what I was doing when, when COVID set in and uh, some times thereafter. In fact, if I put this on a little bit further time frame, let's go back over the last year. There we go. Uh, yeah, COVID. Uh, actually, can't even see it on here. But I remember uh, the March, February, March time frame. I remember uh, uh, June having a great run there. Another one in the uh, October, November time frame. Look at this. This is when we were above 35, touching 40. Another one at the end of the year. And then here we are again. And no doubt that this is uh, some of my best trading so far that we've had uh, just in the last 90 days. And that's because of the volatility. So I've been waiting for it patiently. And thank goodness it's finally here. So if you want to learn more about everything you've just seen me talk about, you can hop over to thetradingroom.com to learn more. And I hope you guys have enjoyed that. For everybody here in the lab, stay tuned. We've got more live trading coming for you. Thank you.